Welcome to the Mercedes Wilson Show. It's all over the headlines and affecting a lot of young women and older. Do you know what sex trafficking is? And what is our job as the church on this? Join me as I sit with Julie Palmer. You're amazing. Did you know that human trafficking is a $150 billion a year industry and is on the rise in all 50 states, according to the U.S. government? Jeez Louise, millions of trafficked persons are sexually exploited and up to 300,000 Americans under the age of 18 are lured into commercial sex trade every year. Some of you watching may ask, how? Today's show, I am sitting with the founder of PATH, Julie Palmer, and we're gonna sort this thing through. This is, this is a lot. Welcome, Julie. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm like, I wanna jump right in, but I people know. need to know who you are. <laughs> so first, who is Julie Palmer? I'm a, a wife. Mm -hmm. I have an amazing husband. It'll be 20 years coming Ooh, up this year. Congratulations. I know. So Feels you're not old. 20. I'm not, <laughs> no, sadly. Okay. <laughs> and I have four children. Uh, my oldest, Connor, he's actually adopted into our home. Um, very special story of how we got him. And we also have two daughters. Uh, Sydney is 11. Alexa is turning 10. And then our little Eli is four. And he's wow. also adopted into our home. So we have a blended family. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so PATH is an organization that you founded. What does PATH stand for? People Against Trafficking Humans. Okay, and how did PATH come about? Because you're the founder of this organization, this great organization. How did that come about? So it was really God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really my background was mental health. I okay. have a bachelor's in music therapy, master's in mental health from UB, did about 16 years in the clinical world, did a lot of mental health trauma, worked for okay. hospice, and then took a little time off. My little Alexa had a little bit of a health problem, so it took mm. some time to be mom and take care of her. Right, right. And then in that period, God just really got a hold of my heart. And he started putting it heavy to do more mission, to be more minded for service. And that really wasn't my career goals, but I thought, well, I'm going to listen. Right. And heard a woman speak at my church about human trafficking. She's a pastor at Eastern Hills Wesleyan. Her name's Robin mm -hmm. Shara. And she kind of started PATH as a coalition, maybe a couple dozen people in the faith community talking about the issue. Wow. Okay. And heard that, and I just really, her presentation, I literally cried through the entire thing. I bet. I was just really broken, and driving home was really like, wow, you know, why is this striking me so much? In my whole career, I've not heard all of this. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like God saying, I really want you to get involved in this. And, you know, if people know me, I'm pretty transparent. I'm like, <laughs> um, well, that's, uh, that, no thanks. Yeah, I'm good, God. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. thanks for the offer, thanks though, for right? <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> you have been in mental health for years and had not encountered sex trafficking. You know, as I look back, mm -hmm. I had, but we weren't educated on what it was. Okay. And so when I got my degree in the early 90s, it just wasn't a topic. I mean, trafficking wow. didn't come into play until 2000, the year 2000. And so there's just a lot we didn't know. Wow. And so now there's been a lot done for us to know more. So what were the first steps? Because you said you're riding home, you're crying. You saw this presentation, what did you do next? So I had filled out a card, you know, to come to an awareness night, mm -hmm. got an invitation, showed up, and just really prayed a lot about, God, you're really going to have to knock me over the head with this, because I have no <laughs> clue what That's I'm going to do. That's the wrong question to ask. I know. Yeah. I'm learning a lot over these years how to deal with God. <laughs> Be careful what you pray for. Right. Like, we asked for kids, and he gave us four. I was like, okay, should have been specific. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. Details. <laughs> so, um, so let's talk about what sex trafficking is and what it's not. Can you tell us what it is, what it is? Let's start with what it is. So human trafficking encompasses sex trafficking. Okay. And so really in that, the definition, which terminology came into place in 2000, is the harboring, recruiting, or transporting a person solely for the purpose of exploiting them. And there's almost always financial gain. 
And so in order for us to consider it a crime, there has to be force, fraud, or coercion. So if we see a person recruited in any way, it could be manipulative, it could be any recruiting grounds, it can be transporting, it does not have to be international, does not have to be state lines, it can be local. Yeah. And harboring doesn't have to be kidnapping. It can be, but generally it's not. It's just some type of hold through force, fraud, or coercion. Now, somebody watching, because I know the first thing I thought when I heard of it before I educated myself more is you think it's like an open market of humans and you think, how could you fall for that? How could anyone fall for that? I'm sure mm -hmm. the people that are doing this are very crafty. Well, I think it's both twofold. I think perpetrators have learned how to manipulate people, mm -hmm. and I think there's so much vulnerability. They look yeah. for vulnerable persons. Mm -hmm. You know, 99.9% .9 of the people that we work with at our center are vulnerable persons. Wow. So it's not, you know, oh, I was tricked. It's they were in a very desperate situation. Yeah, yeah. What is it not? It's not smuggling. So that's really important for us to understand the difference. You know, smuggling, that's people choosing to try to get in a border. Mm -hmm. It's also not something that's just, in a, you know, foreign-born. It doesn't right, just happen right. to foreign-born. You know, definitely we have a lot of domestic victims. So it's people better understanding that it is local. It happen it's not just poor people. It's not just people that are in poverty. It affects wealthy families. Wow. You know, it's just people who are invulnerable, whether it's an abused child in a vulnerable situation. Wow. We have to talk more about this. So you stay with me um, because I want to I want to dig a little deeper into this. And you stay with us at well, as well. We'll be right back. Won't ever let the cold world get the best of me. Keep my head up high like the sunrise. Even though it's hard, I try each and every day. Every time I fall, I get back on my feet. I know that I can make it if I Ever since I made my first beat, I knew music was a passion. Along with the beat makers in my company, I get to share my passion. Music is a way to dream, and now I get a chance to make dreams come true. Welcome to Soundmaster Beats. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Providing wellness and ministry services for your church and family with master herbalist, iridologist, and conference speaker Caprice Butts. Are you as healthy as you want to be? Nutritional help is just a click away with online wellness packages and consultations. Or grab your friends and book a wellness workshop for your church group. Plus, get daily inspiration to revive you from the inside out. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Subscribe today for a free wellness guide. True Color Strategy, your CMO for hire, bringing strategic business, brand, and marketing solutions to find your nugget of truth. To learn more, visit www.truecolorstrategy.com. Welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show. I still have Julie Palmer here with me, the Executive Director of PATH, and we're talking about um, sex trafficking, human trafficking. Now, in the beginning of the show, I mentioned that this was a $150 billion, what do you even call it? Criminal industry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you break that down? Because I want people mm -hmm. that are watching to see the gravity of this. Yeah. I mean, so it's the second grossing criminal industry. The only one that supersedes it is drug and arms trafficking. And some law enforcement believes that human trafficking will surpass that because wow. drug and arms you have to replace people you can reuse. Say that again. People you can reuse. If they, have to repl if they sell you drugs, now they got to get more. If they sell you a person, you take the person and then they get them back and they can sell them again. It's a commodity. People are being used as a commodity. I'm trying to process what you just said because that sounds crazy to me. It just, oh, oh my god. It's the worst form of evil, I feel. And this is why I'm passionate about it and what the church's role, because oh it's gosh. evil. It's NFL, Google, Nike, Starbucks combined in their annual All together. Re revenue. All together. So, so to take on this big monster, what is the role of the church? I know you said God called you to this, right? Mm -hmm. And you said, Lord, <laughs> I'll pass. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> but you're here and you see this every day. You mm -hmm. live it. You serve that community. Mm-hmm. How do we, the church, help? 
Well, I think it goes tied into part of my story and how God kind of had to speak into my spirit. Mm -hmm. Is when I sat in that awareness night that Robin spoke at, she said in that meeting at the end, does any, you know, I don't feel I have time to put into this. I'm full-time ministry at the church. Is there anybody here that feels called to get involved? And she put it out there and I was like, whoa, is this what you're talking about, right, Lord? Right. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, you know, her and I met and we became fast friends and she's been a great mentor and, and really she just sent me off and just helped me get educated and trained. I went to a lot of education and training, mm -hmm. got my, made, went around the country, made sure I understood this issue. And then that's where Path bloomed and blossomed and became its nonprofit yeah. providing services. And so one of the things that we do, we have three-prong prevention. We, our three-prong mission is ending exploitation through education, prevention, and restoration. Okay. And so education is key because that helps prevent it. Right. And really we find every time, I've been doing this for seven and a half years, I can tell you whether I'm in a church, an organization, a business, and standing in front of a crowd, at least more than half the room doesn't believe human trafficking happens. Really? In, in our country, let alone having an idea of what it looks like globally. We have kind of our ideas. We think of maybe brothels, third world countries, yeah. but people just really don't understand what it's looking like in the magnitude. Wow. And so we really speak and engage the church because I really feel strongly if every Christ follower church stood up against injustices, whether it's trafficking or others, we can stop it. Right. This is evil. What can we do though? Because you, you, you talk about $150 billion, you talk about that industry. Someone like myself that says, well, it's just little old me. How mm -hmm. can I help? What, what are you drawing people in to do? Mm -hmm. um, even, even through your organization, how can we help? Yeah, multiple ways. I mean, first we can pray. Mm -hmm. We certainly can pray. We mm -hmm. certainly can call upon, you know, the Holy Spirit right. and Jesus right. to come and intervene. The second thing is to get involved. In, we have volunteers. We yeah. work between 40 and 50 volunteers on a regular basis. Wow. Come serve. Have people in all capacities and strengths, whether you know accounting, graphic design, or you want to come serve a meal or drive a client. There's so many ways you can engage. Wow, wow, you know, wow. And then obviously giving. You know, Every nonprofit has to function. Right. And they, we rely on you know, donors and the faith community. We have a lot yeah. of church partners that help support what we do. Those are all ways for people to get involved. Educate, bring in yeah. speakers, yeah. have us come in and talk to your community or youth so people know what to look for. Tell, tell our viewers what you see in the, in, the, uh, in the women that you serve. Tell them what mm, you see. Broken, hurt, yeah. pain, suffering. They've just, I had a woman 46 years old come to me after a few months of being with us and she said, coming to PATH is the first time that I, I was ever told I was loved that I ever received loved and actually felt like I could give it back Wow! after living for 46 years. I mean, that's, these people are just spend Vulnerable, their whole just like lives, you, yeah. you know, and a lot of it's, they start off in abusive situations mm -hmm. or they start off in vulnerable childhoods and that just lends toward people to take yeah. advantage of that in their adulthood. Can you understand why someone would have trouble wrapping their mind around it? Because like you said, we think third world countries mm -hmm. or, or something like that, but this is in our backyard. So it's mm -hmm. like, wait a minute. It's been happening right under my nose, and mm -hmm. I don't even, mm -hmm. oh, my it is. goodness. It's in so, our schools, Oh, oh. in our churches. And, and we're going to talk about that. So you stay here. <laughs> don't go ahead. And you don't go anywhere either, because we'll be right back. Hello, I'm Stephanie Krebs from Young Living Essential Oils. Do you realize being healthy is more than just diet and exercise? It's what you apply to your body. What products are in your home and your environment? Don't be overwhelmed. I'm here to help you one step at a time. With a company that is based on integrity and passion, Young Living Essential Oils. Call me at 585-708-4020 or my website, myyl.com backslash body sense. Power965radio.com, the new sound of Buffalo, is a proud supporter of the Mercedes Wilson Show. They have a full line of unique programs. Find out more about the station's owner, Sheila Brown, in her new book, 29 Years of Preparation, at Power965radio.com. Tune to LCTV 1301 on Spectrum Cable for local talk shows, sports, entertainment, and special events in our communities. We also bring you the best gavel-to-gavel -gavel local government meetings and an opportunity for you to talk with your local officials live on TV. Program LCTV in your favorites button on your remote. Watch live or DVR LCTV channels 1301, 1302, and 1303. For the best in local programming, it's LCTV. For more information, go to www.lctv.net. Won't ever let the cold world get the best of me Keep my head up high like the sunrise Even though it's hard, I'm trying to every day Every time I fall, I get back on my feet I know that I can make it if I I keep on trying Hello, 
Buffalo. My name is Yvette Phillips. I started a group five years ago called We Are Buffalo Strong. One day my kids and I were driving in downtown Buffalo and we noticed so many people sleeping under the bridge. I wanted to do something, but my resources were low. So I reached out to a few family members and friends and we began taking food downtown once a month to feed our homeless community, some of which were veterans. After becoming 2017's Humanitarian of the Year, more volunteers started helping our group. Since 2013, we fed 6,460 people. My goal is to make sure no one goes hungry or cold in the city of Buffalo, which is called the City of Good Neighbors. I challenge you to make a difference in your community. Be the change you want to see. Together, we are all Buffalo Strong. Welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show. We are continuing our conversation with Julie, and I want to get right into it so we can use every minute we can, every second we can. Talk about social media, because you said something very interesting about social media. Well, social media has become the number one recruiting grounds for perpetrators. And if we think about it, we're all doing it. Right. Everybody has a phone or a device. Right. Everybody's right. using the Internet. Right. And youth particularly, anyone born after 2006 is the digital age. So mm. that youth knows nothing but phones. My kids laugh. They don't understand what a landline phone is or that concept. Of, of course that. not. Yeah. That's yeah. just how they've that's all they know. And so that's how they've learned to communicate. I mean, the schools even push it out. You know, they've got their own Gmails. They're supposed to look mm -hmm. on YouTube. Facebook pages for schools. Right. Yeah. So, you know, we, while it's a part of our culture, we also have to realize there's so much danger in it as well. Can we talk about the other dangers? Because there's a lot of red flags, especially mm -hmm. around certain seasons, busy seasons, shopping seasons. Mm -hmm. There's so, how do you tell the real from the fake? Because mm -hmm. you hear don't park next to a van. Mm -hmm. Don't park here at night. Someone may put a zip tie around your mirror to try to distract you and then take you. To, like, how do we sort through all of this? And what are some true red flags? For sure. I mean, I think there is always a healthy be smart thinking, I think no matter what, I mean, especially as women, I think whether you walk across a college campus or you're in a parking lot, I mean, you need to be smart. Time of day, yeah. where you do park, are you under a lit area? You know, I think we need to be smart. I right. think we need to be in groups. I think that's all very wise. I think as far as, you know, could it happen in parking lots? Sure. But I think a lot more of it has to do with the vulnerabilities. You know, you're a kid who's posting on social media like, I hate my parents, or they're mm. too strict, or they won't let me party. You just open the door. Hey, we think you're cool. You can hang with us. We, we, we'll you wouldn't take even care think of about you. that. They met, you know, we're your family here. They'll buy things. People that start acquiring expensive items that could not normally do that. We see that. They purchase phones. We see a lot of women in use with phones that were quote boyfriend gave them you know don't have ID you know one way to take away people's ability to do anything is to take their identification yeah, yeah. you know you can't purchase anything you can't get a credit card you can't get a car you can't have a bank account so now they've got control over you you know looking at people that maybe are working somewhere where they're required to live yeah. I and mean, that's not normal yeah. or can't speak on their own behalf or somebody intervenes we've seen that where the individual wants to speak for that person going to we've got statistics that 86 percent of trafficking victims said they went to a medical practitioner while trafficked oh my that gosh. is huge and so we have really blown up our trainings with doctors because in med schools been to UB because now they need to understand what the flags are. Yeah, Tattoo yeah. branding, physical assault, you know, a lot of, you know, hickey marks in a certain location wow. of the body, burn marks on individuals, you know, not having the ability to make their own decisions, engage socially, hotel key cards on their person, a variety of hotels. You know, there's just a wow. lot of ways we see people perpetrated. Wow, wow, wow. How can someone like um, our viewers or myself, if you're out in public, how can we recognize red flags and say, oh, something doesn't seem quite right there? I definitely, so one thing when I went to a law enforcement training that I, has always stuck in my head is they said if you go to a massage parlor or a nail salon or a hair salon, they should have the same number of certificates on the wall of employees working than there are the people ah. in the space. We don't even Be think about that. Because legally they have to. We don't even think about to. that. We don't. I never did until yeah. they said it in the yeah. training. I'm like, oh, I'm going to watch for that now. Yeah. I'm like, hold on a second. Let me count. <laughs> yeah. Like, who is yeah. that? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
But it's really important for us to pay attention. One is, you know, we had uh, somebody that heard our awareness. She went to the Galleria Mall, started talking to a girl at a kiosk. The girl was talking. She had an accent. She's like, oh, you know, where are you from? Started getting engaging her personally. Individual, one of the managers intervened and said, I'll speak for her now come to find out that raised a flag in that person. They made a call, come to find out this was a girl here in a work study program. They had deceived her in the airport and said she was to go with them. And they ended up requiring her to work at the gallery mall 10 hours a day for $5 an hour. That's a form of labor trafficking. Oh she was held up in an God. apartment right in our community, a suburb of Buffalo, and was forced to work those hours. And, and it seems like today there's no place that, that can't be subject to this because we hear about it happening in schools, we hear about mm -hmm. it happening in churches, we hear about it happening in places you wouldn't even think. Mm -hmm. So while we're out in the community, we need to keep our eyes and ears open. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that person, like I said, that's thinking, this is happening in our backyard, how can I help? Those mm -hmm. are ways, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I mean, if you're, especially the youth. I mean, we have, we have a 14 year old girl. I'm, I'm a mom of a teenager. Mm -hmm. she, that could be these kids' mom. Mm -hmm. You know, my staff called me in and she said, I just got a call that one of the girls been working with ran away. The, they found her two weeks later. She was so sexually assaulted that she bled for two weeks after. It's a 14 year old girl her whole life now that's shaped yeah, her yeah, life yeah you know and these are the things that are happening and I think there's just signs are your kids you know constantly on their device are they constantly communicating with someone are they trying to sneak out do you feel like they're hypersexualized have you seen a change in behavior are they starting to fail school you know are they skipping school you know it's starting just to see these changes in their mm -hmm. mood depressed or anxious you know in any person an adult you start to see change in habits do you think they're using substances because a lot of times perpetrators will try to get them addicted yeah there's just a lot of things for us to pay wow. attention to how can people reach out to you get more information um, or just just support can you speak to our viewers and sure. tell them how they can reach out to you sure uh, there's multiple ways. You can call us, 716-601-5678. You can go on our website, pathofwny.org. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, so you can use our social media platforms. And we have an email. It's info at pathofwny.org. I want to thank you, Julie. Thank you for yeah, sitting for and educating me. us on this topic. We can all help. And we will be back with the Mercedes moment. Won't ever let the cold world get the best of me. Keep my head up high like the sunrise. Even though it's hard, I try each and every day. Every time I fall, I get back on my feet. I know that I can make it if I, I keep on trying. Ever since I made my first beat, I knew music was a passion. Along with the beat makers in my company, I get to share my passion. Music is a way to dream, and now I get a chance to make dreams come true. Welcome to Soundmaster Beats. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Providing wellness and ministry services for your church and family with master herbalist, iridologist, and conference speaker Caprice Butts. Are you as healthy as you want to be? Nutritional help is just a click away with online wellness packages and consultations. Or grab your friends and book a wellness workshop for your church group. Plus, get daily inspiration to revive you from the inside out. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Subscribe today for a free wellness guide. Hello Buffalo, my name is Yvette Phillips. I started a group five years ago called We Are Buffalo Strong. One day my kids and I were driving in downtown Buffalo and we noticed so many people sleeping under the bridge. I wanted to do something but my resources were low. So I reached out to a few family members and friends and we began taking food downtown once a month to feed our homeless community, some of which were veterans. After becoming 2017's Humanitarian of the Year, more volunteers started helping our group. Since 2013, we've fed 6,460 people. My goal is to make sure no one goes hungry or cold in the city of Buffalo, which is called the city of good neighbors. I challenge you to make a difference in your community. Be the change you want to see. 
Together, we are all Buffalo Strong. Tune to LCTV 1301 on Spectrum Cable for local talk shows, sports, entertainment, and special events in our communities. We also bring you the best gavel-to-gavel local government meetings and an opportunity for you to talk with your local officials live on TV. Program LCTV in your favorites button on your remote. Watch live or DVR LCTV channels 1301, 1302, and 1303. For the best in local programming, it's LCTV. For more information, go to www.lctv.net. Wardrobe for the Mercedes Wilson Show was provided by Clothes Mentor in Tonawana, New York. Grade A looks for less. Welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show. Proverbs 3 and 27 says, do not withhold good from others when it is in your power to do so. This one seems like a no-brainer, right? This is one of those things, saving a life. Take a second and think on those around you that you love. I have four children myself, and this is not something that I want to think about, but I do. I want to do my best to protect my children and yours. And this is something that we can all take part in. It's as simple as watching your surroundings and looking out for others' children as you would like someone to look out for yours. Julie gave us some great tips on how we can protect our children in spite of something is off with someone else's. Just about every day we see the headlines on missing and exploited women and children. Find an organization that supports this and put all of your efforts behind sex trafficking and, and putting an end to this. Pray for those that are missing to be found and to get the help that they need. I'm asking you to also join me in praying for Julie Palmer and her team. They are so needed. Thank you for allowing me in your homes today, and I pray God's blessing over you and all that you hold dear in your hearts. Learn more about this show. Fill out forms to be a guest and give us your show ideas all at MercedesEWilson.com. Also, follow me on all the social media handles at Mercedes E. Wilson, and don't forget to check out all of the shows via YouTube and my podcast. Share this show with someone you love, and thank you for tuning into the Mercedes Wilson Show. You're amazing.